A monster fish for Halloween. I caught this 43 inch striped bass in October 2023. This is my personal best on my cat kayak, matching a fish I caught several years ago. Here's the fight. I was using live mackerel as bait and I was trolling near the rocky shoreline on my kayak. It was a cold and windy day with challenging conditions, so I positioned my kayak near land so that the land formation could provide some wind protection. Uh, these striped bass are mig migrating back from the north to go back to their spawning grounds in the south, and I just got lucky. The striped bass hit my rod so hard and the drag was buzzing loudly. It pulled me hard towards the rocks. It was exciting and accelerating. You can see my kayak moving in the water and feel the striped bass sleigh ride that was in my footage. Uh, my kayak was on a collision course for these nearby rocks and I knew I needed to grab my paddle to steer away but at the same time I didn't want to, to lose the rod um, or put it down or lose the fish. Uh, my rod holder in front of me was just a little bit out of reach so it was very awkward and again it was accelerating at the same time. I ultimately put my rod holder in my scupper hole while I grabbed my paddle to quickly and safely continue fighting the fish. I'm using my Wilderness Systems Tarpon 100 kayak. I love this kayak. It's so simple to use, light and easy to lift, just the right size, and not a lot of complications, which, is, which fits well for my style of fishing. It's also wide and stays balanced as I fight and try to stay upright while fighting a fish like this. My fishing rod is an ugly stick Shakespeare rod with a pen battle 2 reel. This rod has helped me catch tons of fish and the reel is so smooth when I'm, when I'm fighting fish. I love hearing the drag peel out loudly and feeling the, the fish pull hard on the rod. The mackerel was on a circle hook, uh, freely swimming below my kayak with no weight on it. I have two Yak Attack Omega Pro rod holders for my fishing rods. These are key. Uh, when the large stripers hit my rod while I'm trolling, they re hit really hard and you want the, uh, the rods to be secure so that you don't lose them. Also my GoPro is in a, on a Yak Attack Boomstick Pro. Uh, this allows me to capture the footage of some of my favorite battles with the fish. I'll leave links for these kayak products for any of, those, uh, for any of you who are interested in the description on YouTube. This fish was huge. It was 43 inches, which matches my personal best from years ago. Uh, there is an emergency slot limit here in Massachusetts. To be a keeper, a striped bass needs to be between 28 and 31 inches. Uh, when I started fishing, the limit was 28 inches or above. Then in 2020, uh, they implemented a new slot limit of 28 to 35. This new emergency limit, which hit this past May, is really tight, 28 to 31 inches. After a healthy um, 2015 spawning season, the last few years have been marked with weak spawning years, so the new regulations causes fishermen to leave more of the larger female fish in the ocean, with the hopes that they'll breed more fish. Um, I caught several stripers this year, and three of them, including this one, were above the limit, so I had to safely catch and release them. I'm fine with that, of course, as I follow the rules, but my wife is going to be pissed if I uh, caught and release one without bringing anything home. So I safely caught and released this fish to allow it to fight another day. Um, after hooking a new mackerel as bait, I got lucky again. 10 minutes later, I caught a 28-inch keeper. This was perfect. I, I love bringing home striped bass because I know my family and I will be able to have a dinner party with delicious seafood. We cooked the fillets in the in the oven with ginger lime season with ginger lime seasoning. Then we also cooked the head in a delicious Filipino soup called sinigang. That was for the next day. I'm from the Philippines and we eat most of the fish. When we harvest the fish, we honor it by eating everything. We also deep fried a cunner that I brought home. Uh, we deep fried it in the wok and it was delicious. Uh, put some seasoning and just deep fried in oil. I hope you like this video. Uh, this is part of my kayak fishing playlist on YouTube. Uh, if you like this video, please click like, comment, or subscribe. Please share any friendly tips for catching striped bass, for kayak fishing, or for cooking striped bass. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.